After 9-11, the number of hate crimes against Muslims skyrocketed. 3 News Now, Aaron Hegarty has more. These voicemails were left at the Islamic Center of Omaha shortly after 9-11. Area Muslims and people perceived as Muslim found anger directed toward them. They work to make clear they don't align with the attackers whatsoever. The Muslim community in Omaha is appalled by and strongly condemns the apparent terrorist attacks in New York and Washington, D.C. They quickly work to try to spread the word about what they believe, like at this open house at the Islamic Center. Killing one innocent person is like killing the whole humanity. Saving one life is like saving the whole life. Now, threatening voicemails and vandalism come in waves at the Islamic Center. It's everybody's responsibility to learn and understand what Muslims and Islam is about. And it's also up to Muslims to contribute back to the community, become more visible, so that some of these misconceptions and misunderstandings can be clarified. Imagery like this made the rounds. Some we spoke with said the media and President Bush at times failed to differentiate between extremists and others. What was wrong was uh, lumping all the Muslims together, all these uh, Islamic organizations together, putting them in, in that label. Ramazan Kalinj is the head of the Islamic Studies program at UNO. Muslims living in the United States were put in a psychology that they needed to prove their American loyalties. In Omaha, this mosque, church, and synagogue, located in the same place, might not be here today if 9-11 never occurred. It was important for people from other religious groups to say, um, we validate your right uh, to exist for freedom of thought and belief. After 9-11, members of other faiths stood outside the Islamic Center in solidarity with area Muslims. It marked the early roots of the Tri-Faith Initiative. Something that doesn't exist any place else in the world, but that idea came to fruition out of the pain of 9-11. Aaron Hagerty, 3 News Now. Hate towards Muslims hasn't gone away in the 20 years since 9-11. Just this June, a truck hit a family in London, Ontario. Police say the driver targeted them because they were Muslim. The only survivor of the family is a nine-year-old boy whose aunt lives right here in Omaha. We met with that woman and talked to her about what happened, and you can see that full interview on our website, 3newsnow.com.